Hey there, welcome to my channel and occasion. My name is Rob and in this channel, I'll tell you everything you need to know about the non-alcoholic market if you're exploring the space. Um, and in each episode, I'll go and review a, a different non-alcoholic beverage. Uh, in this episode, we're gonna look at athletics. Um, dark and Gordy. So uh, let me just preface this episode with, I, I understand this is a fall beverage. I got this back in fall um, and it's January. Here I am putting it on uh, up to a review, um, but non-alcoholic beer should last about six months or so, I think is the typical expiration date on these. Um, so we're gonna get right into it. This is uh, not part of their, um, their go-to lineup. Um, I think they've got about five different beers uh, with the lineup that run Wild IPA, Athletic Light, um, the Free Wave Hazy, the um, uh, All Out Dark, uh, brew, then the, um, uh, what is there, uh, anyway, there's another one in there, I, I'm just, the name's not coming to me, it's really good, um, anyway, this is, they, but they also do, uh, specialty pilot brews, and seasonal, seasonal beer, so this one is the fall, it's called Dark and Gordy, it's supposed to be a pumpkin and spice, comes in at 80 calories, um, what I like about Athletic is they do uh, brew, ferment, and then remove the alcohol. Other companies don't. Again, Athletic is a big player in the non-alcoholic game. Um, now, this is a fall festive porter style um, stout. So we're in winter, which stouts, you know, that's a great, nice fall, winter. It's a good drink. So this says it features classic autumn spices like cinnamon, clove, and nutmeg. Has subtle sweetness thanks to 250 pounds of pumpkin we add to the brew so um really cool can first of all uh doesn't scream hey i'm not alcoholic come talk to me that's my favorite um but i mean this is a big claim pumpkin spice and they they claim all this favor so you know i know you make good beer athletic but let's see if you live up to uh what your market just says here um let's pour it out All right, now, on the nose, I can definitely smell the, uh, the stout, the porter. Um, it smells like a porter. Um, I don't know about the spices. I guess what I expected to smell and what I do smell are, are two different things. Um, maybe I expected more of a warm, um, well, like I said, all the, all the cinnamon and clove and nutmeg and some of these aromas come off. I don't get any of that. So I just kind of get that, like, um, well, I get a little bit of the pumpkin. I get the pumpkin. I pull that out. Um, and maybe some subtle hints. Maybe as I hold it and the beer warms up, maybe more of those aromas will come out. Um, so we'll see. But, uh, see the foam dissipated pretty quickly. Um, again, not untypical with non-alcoholic beers. Um, this is not a nitro brew. Um, so, you know, I know that's not a fair shake to review stouts that, uh, against nitro stouts. Um, they're just different. So, um, this is not a nitro stout, so I don't expect like that creamy, you know, mouthfeel and texture. I expect just a porter, um, beer taste, I guess, uh, you know, I don't, I, I guess what I'm saying is I don't expect that nitrogen, um, infused carbonated beer taste, but anyway, I can pull the, the pumpkin out of here. So Ooh, well, you shocked me. Um, <laughs> Well, okay, uh, that's really good. The first time I had this, I couldn't really taste the spices in it that, that it markets. Um, so I came in here expecting not to give it the, uh, the review I'm about to give it, the score, but um, that's good. So while the, while, the, while the spices isn't on the nose, in my opinion so much, um, it's there in the flavor. And that's tasty. 
it's not too sweet. I've had porters that are too sweet and they're not enjoyable. Um, this one is, this one's really good. I thought I was going to give this like a 3.5 um, for uh, my first experience drinking it. Just didn't taste the spices. Now I do. So um, I'm going to give this a 5. There's really nothing wrong with it. It's a really good beer. Now, stouts really aren't my preferred drink. You know, I was never really a big stout or porter guy. Um, those really dark beers. Um, wasn't really my style, so I'm trying to remain um, distant from my bias. Um, but, yeah, no, this is good. So if you like, uh, if you like porters, uh, if you like stouts, um, this is a really good one. Go out and check it out. Maybe they're still on the website. I know it's seasonal, so maybe it's it's not anymore. But when it comes around again, try it out. Hey, it lives up. So um, thank you for tuning in, and I'll catch you next time.